think this is the best way. What's up, people? What's up? So, everything is working according to plan. Everything working according to plan. Um, the only thing that's not working according to plan is my hair. I need to I need to go get it cut, and I need to get it done professionally. That's what I need to do. I haven't done it in a while, but uh, that's one thing I do need to do anyway. So, guys. I have a plan book that I haven't written it down, but I do have it in my head for knowledge, so I know what I'm doing. But just for you know, because I want to document it and you know, post it on YouTube. Yeah. So for all the ones who are out there who who into trucking, who want to be an owner operator. And, um, you know, go as far to, I don't know, you know, basically being an entrepreneur and owning your own business, you got to start off with a mindset. Mindset is the best, is the first thing you want to start off with. So, um, you got to have a plan with that mindset. You know, um, you know, you can come out here to trucking, you could do trucking, but what are you here for? Are you here to make, you know, just have a good paying job and make money? Or are you here to soon later, you know, work for yourself and make more money? Um, I would say go as much as a millionaire, okay? Uh, it really depends on how much you're willing to work for it and how hard you're willing to work for it. But it's really a mindset is what you got to have first thing first. So, um, that's, just, that's just pretty much it. So, what, for what I would say, if you just starting off and trucking and you want to get that money, I would say get your plan. In order to make it be helpful with a plan, Get you a book, you know, a little notepad book, and just start writing down one, two, three uh, for the, your goals that you want to knock off. For example, my goal was to save at least $15,000. I knocked that goal off. I got $15,000. Okay. I got $15,000. 10, 5, all hundreds, all hundreds, they're all hundreds. But that was my first goal. And your first goal is always going to be the hardest goal to, um, to it's going to be always the hardest, you know, because you're going to want to spend this money here. You're going to want to spend this money here, buy things. And I could have bought a bunch of things with this money, uh, you know, and I, I had to really just, you got to have discipline too. Got to have discipline um, with it. You know, I, I didn't want to go home. Okay, of course, I did find a job that would pay me more than the other job, so I get there quicker. That's, that is another thing you got to do. But I always got to have your goal. So what we're going to do here is we're going to write down. Um, I got my book, got my pen. We're going to do one, number one, save. Save at least fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, fifteen thousand dollars. And what you're gonna do with that fifteen thousand dollars is you're gonna buy a truck with that. Now I know a lot of people say that, oh man, fifteen thousand dollars, you can't buy no truck with that, and you know you need a good truck out here. These companies ain't gonna take you with no. With no 15, cause you know if you do get a 15,000, they're gonna assume that it's old, raggedy, it's broke down. You got all these repairs to do. But uh, let me put it into perspective for y'all. So find you a 15,000 dollar truck. Once you got your 15,000 and you looking for a truck. Well, let me just go back real quick. You got your 15,000. Now it's time to look for a truck. There's many places to look for a truck. Okay. You know, all these, you know, big truck YouTubers be telling y'all all the time where to go look for a truck. And a lot of y'all don't, y'all don't listen. Y'all don't put two and two together. And, my bad, that was one and one. But y'all don't put one and one together to make two. Yeah, yeah, y'all just don't. So, I'm going to say it over again. I'm going to be their echo. You know, you got to look around. You got to go, you got to go to places. You know, you go to these truck stops, you see books. The little truck paper books and everything get those okay just, just start picking them up now that's just to help you it's very vague kind of but it's just to help you get that motivation to get that motivation of going out and doing your own you doing your own work to get your own stuff um i'm gonna be a little helpful 
and uh, I'm probably gonna do this. It's probably gonna be like a guide for most of y'all. Once once y'all get to a certain part in this guide, that's what we that's what we differ. Okay, that's where we differ. So, y'all, um, what I've been doing was after I got my fifteen thousand dollars, what I've been doing is looking on Craigslist. Okay, I look on Craigslist. I go to Craigslist for a lot of my stuff. I, I went to Craigslist for the job that I'm working at right now, um, because of the, you know, because of the, because of the clearinghouse drug reason, because I can't go to like these medium carriers. Some most some most most of these carriers I can't go to because of that. But uh, go on Craigslist. Uh, type what kind of truck you want. You want Freightliner International, Western Star, Peterbilt, Kenworth, whatever truck you want. Look for it, okay. You're going to have to be looking for a $15,000 one of those trucks. Now, I found me... Are we good? Are we good? Okay, hold on. guys i had to i had to go they just got done loading me though i shouldn't be leaving this money right here though <laughs> i had to go get my paperwork and everything got the paperwork and um, i'm hauling i think beverages or empty cans budweiser five percent so i'm hauling some alcohol let me just pull up real quick i'm at the park right there on the side once i get up wish you will we're gonna get back to talking about this plan and this money real quick. Okay, we're gonna get back to talking about it. I'm uh, I'm gonna take y'all with me. Listen to me now. Hello. Bro, it's a little dusty right there. They doing some construction over there. Now he said, "Don't need no." No straps or tie downs. Oh, I see why they probably empty too. Bunch of these Budweiser. Nah, they not empty. I mean, they are empty. <laughs> they not full. I see why he say no straps or tie downs since they empty. You gonna mess up the can? Put this seal on here real quick. Hold on, y'all.
Oof, it's hot out here. Where am I? I'm in North Carolina. That's where I'm at. Going to St. Louis, Missouri, guys. St. Louis, Missouri. thousand dollars I'm gonna check that off first of all and then we're gonna do the second one the second goal to find a truck find a find a truck okay now I found me a truck but they got a bunch of other trucks out there that you know you might like me i'm into the old type of trucks because i listen to the you know experience people on youtube and that's 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 why i went to plus i found an old truck that i do like and i will be purchasing from the auction hopefully i can win the auction but i'll be purchasing it it's a good truck it has the engine that i want and uh yeah now People be like saying, man, you gotta spend at least 40 something thousand, 30 something thousand, 50, 100 something thousand on a truck, a good decent truck that don't break down all the time. And you know, brand new trucks, they break down, some break down more than old trucks. So for that mindset to have, you need to go ahead and just get that out of there. You know, I don't I don't really hang around a lot of, I don't hang around a lot of lease operators, lease purchases, cause a lot of them people who do lease purchase, they got trapped in the game. Now, some of them can't get out. And I just don't think it's, it's not worth a lease purchase. But that, that'll be another video on lease purchase. Other than that, we, we gonna stick with a uh, cash truck. So, $15,000 truck. I found many under $15,000. If they just don't have the engine that I want. $12,000, $8,000. You know, some of these got a million miles. Yes, they are going to have a million miles, and that's and that's okay. That's okay, because let me tell you why. I found a truck that has, I don't know how many miles it has on there, but it, ha it has a lot of miles for sure, for sure. The odometer is broken. But it has an OE engine, which is pre-emissions, uh, and I've already did my research on the rebuild kit and everything. The rebuild kit is going to be pretty cheap. I should not, probably at the end of it, because I'm probably going to get some extra stuff outside the kit for it. But the rebuild kit, I was looking at about $1,400 to $1,500 $1, to $1,600 for the rebuild kit. Okay. That's pretty That's pretty cheap. Okay. Uh, I got some. I, I, got, I got a mechanic that I, I'm going to ask to see if he could do it. Most likely he, they can. So I'm going to ask them, see if they can do it, and how much. They ain't going to charge me that much, really. Not not when you go to a dealership compared to going to a dealership. Nah. But, um, so the truck that I have, hopefully, I'm spot, hopefully is $12,000 all in total. Okay. And that's only because, you know, you got auction, uh, you got the buyer's, uh, 
buyer's premium you got you got to pay so probably be paying if I paid around a maximum of two thousand dollars buyer's premium is six percent of that so it'll be ten thousand dollars um not ten thousand dollars twelve well yeah ten extra be added on to that so it'd be twelve thousand dollars in total um that I would have to pay which is okay because I'm still below my fifteen thousand dollars my fifteen thousand dollars is just what I buy for a truck now that's twelve thousand dollars. I told you the the rebuild kit was about what was it about twelve hundred dollars, fifteen. Let, let's just let's give it the max sixteen hundred dollars. Okay. So now we at thirteen, thirteen sixty, thirteen six hundred. We still under fifteen thousand. You find you a good mechanic, okay? A good mechanic. Uh, for what I've googled, they don't charge that much. Like what for what I googled. It was between five thousand to eight thousand, depending on who you go to. And some mechanics do charge less than that, but we're gonna use the eight thousand one. So eight thousand to thirteen to thirteen thousand. That's like well, we're gonna count on fingers. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. That's that's about twenty-one thousand dollars. You you are under thirty thousand. You are under thirty thousand. And some of these uh, truck dealerships that I've been to, not the big ones, but the small ones, they charge, they talking about 30000 25000 And you under 30000 for a truck, for a rebuilding and everything, and it's an old truck, you got a brand, you basically got a brand new engine that can go a whole, that engine could go another million miles because you didn't did the rebuilding and everything compared to going down there and dishing all that money. This is why I'm saying, this is why I'm going the route that I'm going instead of going for a brand new spanking truck. But I found the truck, 15,000, found the truck. Um, like you said, you gotta find a mechanic. That'd be the third, that'd be the third goal. Find mechanic. That'd be the third goal. The fourth one would be Get it load ready, okay? Load ready. Okay. Once you get it load ready, load ready means all your paperwork. Uh, make it ready for a, for a load. You don't want to get out there and you can't do load because you have to ask something and now you broke down for a good while. Get it load ready, all right? Once you get a load ready, was that the fourth one? Once you get a load ready, you can go ahead and start looking for you a company. Now, you didn't already, don't get me wrong, you didn't already spent a lot of money already. If you like spend like 20, what I, what I project, 20, 22,000, I think. 22,000 is a lot of money. It is, it's a lot of money. I got some money in the bank account. This is just the money that I took out right here. Um, so I'm almost there at the 22,000. Yeah, I got about 3,000 in the bank account left after this 15 was taken out. So 22,000, you, you just spent a lot of money already. I suggest if you, if you company driver, stay company, stay company, get about at least $5,000 under your belt. I would say $5,000 under your belt. Just, just so you can be like, okay, well I got fuel. I, uh, I can pay for fuel if I need to. I can pay for food. I can pay for how, well, shit, it's your truck. You live in it, okay? And $5,000, I would say, is a good amount to cover, you know, not major things if you, if you took care of your business before you took off. So get about $5,000 under your belt just to have you some cash to sit on. And uh, once you do, while you're doing all of that, look for you a job. Look for you a company to lease your truck on, okay? We're gonna do number five as get reserves. Get reserves. Okay. We're gonna do number six as um find a company. You gotta find the right company for y'all. Now, for the ones who has a clearing house problem. I'm going to go more in detail with that since it's a little bit in my situation. 
Uh, other than that, anyone it's, it's easy for people who don't have a clearinghouse problem. They can go to almost any company with their truck, so that doesn't really matter to them. But um, find a company. Find a company would be number six. Um, also, I'm gonna tell y'all what y'all may need to look for. Me, I'm still new to it, so as I'm learning too, but I'll tell you what I've learned and what you need to look for in finding a new company and making owner operator money, okay? Uh, other than that, after that, once you got all that set, you good to go on your own. Leave, cut ties with your, with your current company work and start being a uh, owner operator entrepreneur go out there and make your money um i'll get into financial side because i'm still learning the financial side too i know that i'm going to need uh, uh an accountant a trucking accountant for the amount of money that I, i'll be bringing in is it's a it's a bunch of other things in there you know um write-offs that you can do um things you can you know do your money you don't want to do too much write-offs because you want to show, I, I say you want to show the government that you're making money. But if you're doing all these write-offs, then you're really not making money. You're just staying equilibrium, equal brilliant, some shit like that. But other than that, so far we got six things right here. Six points to check off for at least my goal. And um, if you want to follow this guide, then you can. Okay. Then you can. I'm gonna have to rewrite this. But here we go again. Save fifteen thousand. Find a truck. Okay. For fifteen thousand or less. We're gonna say less. And I've been tempted to go to sixteen thousand, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um get your truck and I'll find a mechanic after that. But you got your mechanic. Find a load, um, make your truck load ready, okay? Number five, get reserved. Have something that you could lean on while you're out there on your own, not with a company, okay? Uh, number six is find a company. Lease your truck onto it and keep on going with that. Now, there's going to be more to this. And I'll write more to it. I'll add it later. But you my goal is to probably get my own authority once i get my own authority maybe i have to i have to get to that level first but maybe uh start hiring people to drive trucks yeah okay and i'll probably get a fleet now at that point that's when you start going into a different tax bracket that's when you start making different money when i say different money i'm talking about you start to make towards and of course you start small but then at the end goal you know you want to make your first million yes that's your main goal you want to make your first million and uh there's a bunch of things that you can do by doing all that and uh if y'all just come along for the journey which number one astronaut then uh i help y'all i help y'all get to it the best way i can like i said that it, it, it this guide right here only goes so far for a lot of y'all because we all have different ideas, we all have different goals and different pathways that we're gonna do with our business, okay? But at the end of the day, your business is all about making this green, okay? It's not really too much green, like I got some old $100 bills here that's green, but it's all about making these blue faces. Blue faces, I tell you. Blue faces, Benjamin, that's all it's all about, making Benjamins. Now see all those blue strips? Okay, and then, yeah, you get down here because those are the old hundreds that they had. But all those blue strips right there, I tell you. Man, when I tell y'all, here, yeah, I'll tell y'all this. When I, when I took this money out, because I, I was gonna go buy a truck that day, that's the reason why I took the money out the count. Um, I didn't buy a truck, obviously y'all saw I didn't buy that truck that day. Uh, I didn't like the way the truck was. Um, well, not this day. It was a Kenworth that had a, uh, a, 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 what was it? I think a 12.7, but it was a Kenworth that had a cat engine in it. And, uh, don't get me wrong, cat engine is good. It, it's, it's good. It was a C15. 
and that's good but it's just one of the more expensive ends and I didn't want to have to spend about 3000 on some rebuild parts when I can get this other engine that's not even nowhere near 3000 for the rebuild parts but when I took this money out though I felt so good I felt good because first of all this is the most money I've ever had in my possession $15,000 when I first started off trucking, eight thousand dollars was the most I ever had in my possession. But when I when I had this, and I was like, "Damn, this is this is money." My account showing fifteen thousand, showing a whole comma, got a comma in there. I felt so good. Now, when I went to the bank and took it out the bank, oh my god, bro! I tell you that when I took this money out, ooh. It felt so good because I got to the car quick as possible. Locked the doors, took out my gun, just in case niggas trying to run up on me. And I said this, I said, Mmm. Ooh. Now the thing about it is that if you had if y'all had money, I'm not talking about like three hundred, two thousand, well two thousand dollars would do it. But if y'all had like hundred dollar bills and like thousands of thousands of dollars, it smells it literally smells sweet. I'm not trying to be funny or anything. You can literally see it smells like there's like some kind of sweetener or some kind of sugar added to this. But, um, ooh. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now, I like to, you know, now when I was younger, I never really got to do all this. I never really had money like this when I was younger and everything. And it's so nice that I do now that I can actually do what they said on, you know, to do what they do on social media spread them all out and everything you know shit put them on an arm i ain't gonna do all that because that's a lot to pick up but put them down on arm you know all that you know talking about who calling money all that you know and now i get to do that's pretty fun i tell you when i get a hundred grand i'm gonna turn these hundreds into twenties turn these hundreds into twenties I'm gonna give me a hotel room and I'm gonna throw these hoes everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna throw these hoes everywhere and have so much fun. But if y'all want if y'all wanna count this with me one more time before we go, let's let's do that. Let's let's count this ten thousand dollars. Uh man, I hope you're not coming over here to uh to tell me I gotta go. Hold on. He, he might be telling me I gotta go because he just he turning around right here. Man, I don't know what he was turning around for. He on some other shit. But uh, here we go. We're gonna count this before I go. So we got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. That's 100. That's 100 hundreds. You can really tell how blue these are. Like, these are really blue. Blue face. 
No, nah, but you can really, I don't know if this camera does it justice though, but you can tell the greens from the blues. Anyway, that's, that's a hundred ones right there. A hundred ones, I need to, I need to tap this on something so I can get it straight. That's a hundred ones, I tell y'all. And this is all from just working hard and saving money up and being disciplined, really. Cause I gotta go, and for two years I'm gonna be I'm gonna be disciplined for two years. So if I make this within a couple of months, just just think how much I can make for two in two years being disciplined, mad disciplined. Okay, y'all, if y'all need to know how to put all your money back in the band without ripping the band. Cause we ain't trying to pop no bands right now. I ain't got no other band to put it in, so I ain't trying to pop this band. All you gotta do is just curl it up like that, oval this, and just slide it on over. That's it. That's it, y'all. Okay, and you just work it back flat. Work it back flat. You know, try not to rip any other bills. Try not to rip. Uh, the band either other than that guys I'm about to get out of here and start driving so I catch y'all later uh, phone's also about to die but yeah man you gotta be go my you gotta be disciplined go oriented if you want money if you want money if you want money period in general fuck it <laughs>